Hey, what's going on? This is Disco Doggy. And it's been a long time since I made a pet battle video, but uh, here I am. I've actually been enjoying Shadowlands to the fullest. You know, I've got, uh, you know, four max renown, all eye level 190 to 200. <laughs> I mean, not that that's that impressive, but uh, I've been playing a lot and doing like mythics with the guild and it's just been having fun so much fun that i haven't really done much pet battling so um <laughs> let's see uh i thought i just i just got this bright scale hatchling and so um here let me tell you a little bit what i've been doing my only 10 plus win teams are this frost wolf refuge that's not even that great it's 11 and 4 but you know i just use refuge on the two critters there's a lot of cool critters right now um, I think this bloodlouse larva wasn't really doing that great with the, you know, maybe if I put burrow there, it might work, but it's too slow, right? It's yeah, probably 260, but, um, I was thinking somehow there might be some synergy with these two, but, uh, I made a new refuge team. Where did it go? Oh, right here. A Gormling refuge. Cause I, I think, you know what? I, you know, why I like these pets. I just think they're kind of cute. <laughs> um, and then uh, it has been competitive at times, and it's been kind of annoyingly competitive because it's not like, oh, there's this new pet that we need to learn how to counter. It's just like, oh, okay, Sandstorm and Darkness and Anomalous and Sunny Day. Yay, pet battles. Yeah, seriously, like that's what it's been like for me. And then, of course, there's still brawler teams. So if I have to come against a brawler team with one of my fun teams, it's okay. Um, but, yeah, this has been kind of like my go-to competitive. Actually, that's not true. I have been using some old teams uh, as well. Uh, I've been using the dragon team. Oh, did I favorite any of them? I should favorite some of them so I can have access them quickly. But, um, you know, against Anomalous, I still go into the dragon. And um, there haven't been any, like, new, like, crazy Anomalous synergy things that I've seen. Um, but I haven't been playing that much. So, I mean, maybe the other people who are making pet battle videos are like, oh, my God, the new meta is crazy. And, like, uh, I, don't, I don't know about it. But um, I'm just going to throw some random pets out there that I haven't played with and see what happens. Um, this isn't one of the characters that I've been playing with. Oh, pfft. yeah, same old, same old. Let's see. Uh, you're going to start with that. I don't really have... Oh, did I want that move? No, I wanted Nibble, but oh well. Um, I thought I changed it. Let's start. Oh, I don't even know how to choose my pets anymore. What does this do? Um, reduces damage. Okay, we'll keep our shield up. You know, you know me. I like I like HP birds. Oh, what's this? What's this health? Oh, that was pretty low health. I need to be careful about that one with the uh, with some AOE. So let's do this. We got a shield up. Let's increase our critical strike chance, which never seems like really that good of a move. But what, what, why did I pick that over something else? Um, I'll see in a moment. But well, hey, it, blo it blocked something there. That's good. All right, prepare to be dazzled with my uber crits, or not. Hmm. I don't know what BPC means. Am I supposed to know what that means? Uh, this does 235. Let's keep going with it. Keep our shield up. There's a crit for you. I actually used this golden cloud feather in a bleed team, and I don't think it did very well. <laughs> I'm like, I actually used it in a bleed team, and it was not very good. All right, well, that's the end of this guy. Put up our, 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 our elite critical strike. Should lose my racial here. Maybe, maybe not. Did 
50% and 11 damage. Okay, well this guy's gonna, this guy's gonna hurt me for sure with all of that. Yeah. <laughs> At least I knew he was gonna hurt me. It didn't like come out of nowhere. Let's see, what is this guy's speed? 273 versus 293. Dang, I wish I had that nibble. Um, this is an interesting move here because it's actually, um, does more damage if you are, or sorry, um, it's like a multi-attack, but instead of, you know, hitting you if you're fast, hitting the extra attack if you're faster, it hits it if you're slower. I was, when I read that, I was like, what, is that right? And, but it is, so... Ooh, and there's the cleansing rain up. This ain't so bad. He's taking damage in the back there. Couldn't get the stun off. Let me put the shield up. Okay, now you're faster than me, which really doesn't matter that much. Yeah, I don't think a battle of attrition is going to work well with a with an AoE team here. Ooh, that was nice, though. If I can get another triple, he'll be dead. Actually, 340, he's going to be dead no matter what. Hey, this isn't so bad. Except with the AoE. See, how much AoE does this guy have? He's probably got dreadful breath. But let's see, this is 204 a pop. I'm going to need at least two hits there. This does 408, so I might as well go for this. Oh, wow, cool. Bright scale hatchling, the new meta pet. No, of course not. Um, it's cool. Beat a decently powered AoE team. There was no... There was no... Um, Anomalous on that team, obviously, but that's a nice way to start. Dang, I wasn't expecting that. Um, last is best. And I just kind of threw three pets together there. You know, I wasn't really... There's no synergy that I was really working towards, but let's save it because I did want Nibble there. Actually... I don't know. Yeah, it's always good to have stuff that's strong against undead and, you know, 292, he's going to be faster than all the 289s. Not that that's really that big a deal. I, I, I mean, I'm trapped in like eight, six years ago where like it was like 289, 305, 325 with your 309s thrown in there. Um, but, you know, now there's more speeds that are all over the place, so not need to not get in that trap, but... Let's play with Gormling Refuge. Oh, wait, sorry. I played on my other computer this morning, and I won a game with it. So it's actually 2-0. Yeah, my records are kind of messed up because I, I play on my laptop sometimes in the, you know, the rematch. I'm not, I'm not so into, like, keeping my records perfect that, I'm like, okay, now I got to transfer my rematch over to this computer and that computer. I mean, it's close enough. But if I remember wins and losses, I will bring them over. What I really try to do is I try to not play anything that I play from this list on that list, if that makes sense. But Oh, there's our friend Anomalous. Wow. It's almost like nothing has changed at all. 292, going to be slower. Hmm. I might have to bring out a... Oh, this is gonna hurt because he's gonna he's gonna put the the poison on them. So, well, what are you gonna do? Okay, am I gonna be able to take him out in three? Three forty-five. What's what's forty-five times three? Yeah, thirty to one hundred and thirty-five. So I can take him out in three attacks. I'm just gonna. I'm just going to go for it here. <laughs> oh, my math was right. That was going to be embarrassing. Okay, yes, it was, it was right. <laughs> okay, so kind of sucked, but, you know, let me see. Maybe I, maybe I should have put the refuge up first, but I just didn't want to give... Um, 
Yeah, I don't think the refuge is going to help the frontline guy anymore. It might help the two back guys. But I'm going to go ahead and just go for the damage here. You know, I, I I still hate Sandstorm worse than almost anything in this game. But I understand why people... Oh, crap, I wasn't dead. Uh, I'm not paying attention. Dang. I thought I was dead after that last one. And then I just... If I had any chance, I just ruined it. Because I was talking about something else. Dude, that sucked. Okay, and I didn't get my refuge up, so... I'm pretty much done here. Are you faster than the Kunlai Run? Well, dude, I could have won this if I was paying closer attention. Let's see. Maybe I couldn't have won it. I don't know. But uh, that did suck to make a mistake like that. Ah, I'm gone. Oh. Okay. Well, you know what I'm going to do real quick, just because it seems like I'm facing some AOE and then anomalous. So let's let's go to this just to show you what I've been doing. Um, okay, I don't remember the name of my pets. It's bronze something. How about this? This is in which expansion? Legion or W? Why does it say both here? Let me see where it's at. Move to... It's in BFA. So this is a BFA team. Maybe. When did Blazehound even come out? I don't know. But this is kind of what it's... This has kind of been my experience PvP pet battling so far. It's like I'm trying to play with all the new pets and check some new stuff out. And then... I'll come across what I've been coming across and I'll lose to it. I mean, you know, I'll, I, I won the first time, but then I lose and I'm like, eh, I don't like losing to that. So then I'll come back with something a little bit more high powered. Um, like I said, the, I might as well play with this, right? Here, let me, let me go ahead and not do the dragon. And I will go with, I will show off my new team, Shimmer Dark, which is 10 and 0 right now. Um, Nightshade Sproutling, superhero. <laughs> I mean, it's probably out of out of all the out of all the ickiness, right? Just think of all the ickiness: sandstorm, darkness, the 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 other pets. <laughs> I'm like, what are those pets called? The sunny day, and then anomalous. I mean, out of all of those, I I like darkness the best. So. I might play a lot of darkness. And here we go. Even though I really wish I would have brought that other team that I had so I can just destroy this anomalous with um the dragon. Bronze Welpling, that's what it's called. There we go. I knew I could do it. 252 you're gonna be dead after this so you know as long as you keep keep anomalous to to, to one to one attack you're you're doing all right and that's exactly what i did there so now they're probably gonna bring in the beast yes what can i do to this beast there's a lot of critters uh, and and i've been playing with a lot of critters and there's a lot of anomalous and there's a lot of AOE <laughs> AOE beast damage. So it's like, hmm, probably not a good time to be playing with a lot of critters. But they're fun. They're fun and they're new and I'm trying to trying out the new pets and stuff. So let's see how well we can take Oh god, he's really taking me out. God, I hate this garbage. Ah, okay. Now I'm going to have to use it this turn. Okay, no more AoE. 
I wanted to save this for the come I run just to do some big damage, but I can't take a chance of only hitting a double and not taking him out. We still might be all right. I think we're okay. As long as, as <laughs> I, I, I hate to say it, because I was going to say as long as I don't miss with Twilight, which, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Twilight's turning into one of those like bad luck pets that's like, oh, as long as I don't miss with Twilight, I'll be fine. And then miss with Twilight. I think I'm going to sacrifice this dude. Because I'd rather, I'd rather, oh, there will be no sacrificing. Um... Ooh, that seemed fair. All right. Well, guess what? I'm still faster than you, buddy. <sighs> Think we're good. Now that darkness is uber and hits, what, for 630? Ridiculous. I almost, I was, I was really close when I came, actually came back to battling because I didn't do, like, any pvp pet battles for like a month and then it was just like darkness and sandstorm and i was really close to being like yeah, i'm just gonna skip this expansion i'm gonna take a couple years off of pvp pet battles but you know here i am so it's just it's just it's just gross you know like well it was already fine why did you why did you buff those things why did you buff weathers i mean it was they, they were fine already. Darkness teams and Sandstorm teams were already good. Why did you buff them? So, just kind of like frustration at playing those teams over and over. But you know, I'm gonna have to play with this. I'm gonna have to play them if I wanna if I wanna win. Sometimes they're gonna be my competitive teams. And if I get enough into pet battling, it's always it's always my goal to you know find non. Uh, meta pets to beat the meta pets but I haven't put that much time into it yet I, w I, I probably will I mean but I gotta say I'm having a blast I mean hell I've, 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 the guild I'm in we're even doing some just normal raiding and it's super fun because I've like never had that experience and you know I've never done mythic plus before I pretty much stopped doing dungeons regularly in cataclysm so uh it's like a new experience to me it's super fun so i'm really enjoying it i know i've said that a couple times but uh taken away from my pvp pet battle time but when that goes away maybe i'll get back into pvp pet battles let's see what else i've made here i don't there's nothing that i'm like really excited about i've just been kind of throwing random pets together um so I, as long as I'm facing that anomalous team, let me go ahead and... Well, didn't that thing say... Oh, no, no, it said it was a BFA team. There we go. I'm going to go and play this just to show you. Not that you don't know already, but that the, how well the Bronze Dragon can do against anomalous teams. I think I've probably shown that to you before many times before Shadowlands came out, but hey, someone spam an AoE and do what I can to beat him. How about my Sandstorm? It seems like I was playing Sandstorm before we stopped. Uh, I mean, before I stopped. Sorry, before Shadowlands. Let's see, BFA. Yeah, I don't see any Sandstorm teams in here. Oh, it's probably playing my old MOP Sandstorm teams, right? Oh, yeah, I got it to 100 wins. Duh. Okay. So I was playing some Sandstorm. With the Guardling, with the Living Sandling, and with the Dire Horn Runt. Let's see. What else? I don't have a lot of wins. Just that team. I thought I was... I thought I was... I'm remembering that I played a different... Sandstorm team that was pretty good. Was it this one? I don't remember. <laughs> Sand Bandits? No, that's an old team as well. 
It is kind of fun to play with the Silithid Hatchling, though, because who the hell plays with that in PvP? All right, well, here, let's let's take a look at a different approach here. Living Sandling. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was this guy. I totally forgot already. I forgot this thing even exists. The Cursed Dune Watcher. I went 12-1 and one with this team with a Silithid Hatchling on it. So... Oh yeah, jump back and bore myself because sandstorm's so boring. I sound kind of down on PvP pet battles, but again, that's because I don't agree with the changes that were were made with darkness and sandstorm. But I've been, I haven't really been keeping up on what other people say. I think maybe I've gone to the pet battle forum a few times i think i've gone to warcraft pets once or twice maybe and i didn't see anything like oh my god the undying roach is overpowered and i'm like what Oh, I don't. I haven't really been playing with this paladin. Just so you know, you're like, why does he have those things up here? This is the um, bartender setup for my um, <laughs> some some of my other tunes. And you're like, uh, I just kind of like since I haven't been playing, I've just been pet battling with it. I just kind of put stuff wherever. But, hey, I got a I got a gaming mouse. I got a I got a uh, a razor death adder because it's. It's hard to tank dungeons when you have to find that interrupt button down here and press it. Like, where's that other interrupt? Where's that other interrupt? So, you know, just... Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, since I don't really have a lot to say about pet battles, clearly. Uh, I got my I got my uh, Disco Doggy, my, my Beastmaster Hunter, which is... Eh, it's alright. It seems like it's what it always has been. My sort of main is uh, Resto Shaman, and then my first tank was a, was a Blood DK, and so when I tried to start tanking again, I went back to Blood DK, and it just wasn't feeling right to me. I was just like, I remember it being a lot more fun than this, and not so like clunky and just hard to survive, and I was like, eh. And so I went the easy route, and I. My tank is now a guardian druid, <laughs> which is like the exact opposite. It's like, I'm going to sit here and press thrash and mangle and then thrash. and I, I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm a noob when it comes to actual World of Warcraft stuff, so I probably shouldn't be even, even be talking about it. But from my noob perspective... This is what's going on, and then I'm um, yeah I'm kind of over the whole like DPS thing just because it's it's just so hard to get into to, to, to dungeons you know and so I'm leveling this paladin so I could tank slash heal, and then my monk is gonna be next so I can tank slash heal, and it's just it's just more fun to me anyways. Not to, uh, I'll, I'll quit talking about stuff I don't know about. Let's look at some of the new pets. Why, yeah, why is this Q taking so long now? Dang. Um, oh, well, this reminded me. One last thing. I really like Torghast, too. It's fun. I know people are, like, <laughs> crapping all over it. If you ever go to the forums, it's like, you'd think this is, like, the worst game ever. It's like, everybody hates everything about this game. But I guess that's why people go to forums to complain, but... I really like Torghast. Um, now, doing it on four different <laughs> tunes is a bit much, but that's my own choice. If I Okay, enough about that. Um, oh, God. Oh, good. My, my, I was going to say, I'm in Area 52 right now, and I'm like, uh, I don't know if you all really want to see that chat down there. I didn't, I didn't close the chat. Now it's closed, but it makes no difference because my picture's over it. There's some... Some real weirdos on this. Any any large realm. But, okay. So, back to pet battles. Jeez, this is taking forever. I could pop out and pop back in, but... 
Maybe I just screwed myself up more. Um, Maw Crawler. I'm thinking this is going to be really good about the, for fiendish imps. I mean, look at it. It's it's 341 speed. You can just swap the imp out if you want. If the imp stays in and you end up on a one-on-one -on -one -on -one situation, you could always do empowering strikes. What's this? Is this just a regular old claw move? I have been going, well, I think I only use it on one team, but I went with death grip, tornado punch, and grasp just because trying to go for that silly combo there where you're like, what's all this mess? Uh, anyways, um, where you know you try to you try to grasp them so they can't swap and then you stun them and you're like, yeah, I don't I don't know what in the world I don't know what's going on either. But anyways, uh, I think it might be kind of good if you went with empowering strikes. Maybe even maybe even grasp. You know, you start off the battle with grasp and then you're like, hey, guess what, imp. Now you can't leave, and I can just hit you with these empowering strikes. I guess they could gate you out, but then you just come right back in, and then they're still grasped. No, because your it would wear off. But okay, I guess I guess it's not perfect against them, but I, I wouldn't mind just just. Well, I did face an imp, I think, with it one time, and I just gripped it out. Uh, do I really need to play with this team anymore? It looks like I'm not going to get that um, AOE team again. I managed to queue dodge them. But maybe we're maybe we're in that space right now where there's three people in the queue and they're, the other two are like fighting each other right now. And I'm just a, I'm just a loser sitting here, standing here. Um, yeah, let's see. What other teams did I come up with in Shadowlands? I've just been messing around, really, like I said. Uh, I tried... Oh, there we go. I tried to, you know, use Spirit Claws with, um, with Moonfire. I guess I didn't lose with it. But... Oh, this dude... I don't have this set up for an imp. That sucks. So I guess what I'm, I'll try to do is start with this. What, what I would, well here, let me go and play the game first. Cool. Um, okay, cool. Is he going to swap? Because if he's going to swap, I could always knock out his pet, do a little bit of damage. But maybe he's expecting that, and he just stays in, and then I look like a dummy for retrieving. Oh, head game lost. Darn it. I don't like you, but that was a good move. You got me there. Well, this is going reasonably well. Don't want to get too cocky. Don't get cocky, kid. How high does this hit? Hit high! Oh, oh my god. I should have asked how low does it hit? Dang. Um, I'd Well, he's just going to do damage to me here. He doesn't have an AoE, so I'm going to put this down and hope it doesn't go off. Okay, cool. Trap down. I thought that was going well, but it doesn't seem to be going well now. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't have a I don't have a good way to take out the amp here. Okay, it's still not going to kill him. So I basically need the trap to proc. Okay. I'm, I mean, yes, Vengeful Porcupet is good against the, um, what's my speed up to, by the way, 302. Now, if you're trying to be a clever boy, you might, ah, you might go up in the air this time thinking I'm going to go up in the air. So I think you're going to do that, actually. Oh, I, I'm over on the on the head games so I guess I guess that's fair enough I lost two head games so maybe I should lose the battle or at least draw that's 488 but then you're gonna be doing less damage but then you got this too nope gonna gonna lose oh cool Or, I'm not going to lose. <laughs> cool. That was cool. Whew. Okay. You see, things haven't changed much. <laughs> it's, it's, really, it's really hard to play with these new pets. And like, hey, I'm going to have some fun and try out the new pets. And look what I'm going up against. So... But somehow I managed to go, what, three and one already? So let's do one more. Well, this team's actually three and three, so it's not very good yet. Let's, let's, let's change this. Let's do it specifically for an amp. Do I want that? Let's see, I thought that I thought there might be some new 341 pets. Maybe not. Okay. I, th I, th I just remember thinking like, oh yeah, that's going to be good against an amp too. Actually, there's 333, 337, or, or I can just not be a complete idiot and go like that. Isn't the amp 333? Dang, I am out of pet battles. So, um, yeah, it's 333. Oh, jingles. Yeah, too easy. The pet's so good, man. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I, luckily I haven't faced any. I'm not, I, I, I don't even want to play with it, to be honest, because I just think it's going to be really, really good. And so it's one of those kind of things that until I see other people start playing with it, like, I don't even want to introduce it to my battle group, okay? Because... I mean, it's fast, it's got, it's got, you know, tra not traps, uh, you know, mines, it can, it can heal or it can do strong damage against uh, flyers when this does weak damage against flyers, it's got some self coverage, it's a good pet, so anyways, um, let's see. I am digging the vengeful porky pet these days. Uh, what else? Is there another new pet that I can... If, if I'm facing that super hardcore team that I just faced, 
Is there another thing that I can use that's going to be good? The, the bronze whelpling is not good against an imp, so that's the problem with the, the bronze whelpling. If you bring it against anomalous and then they have an uh, anomalous imp combo, you need something for the imp. So this is nice for slowing everybody down. What if they start with the what if they start with the imp and I gate it out? Or death grip sorry, death grip it out. Um, then I'm gonna be against anomalous and I am faster, but that's gonna do weak damage. And then that may like that's that doesn't hit hard at all. So I could be stuck against anomalous right there doing what? So that's 216. Uh, would, would I be able? I wouldn't be able to take him out in three attacks. So, yeah, this is so this is a good imp pet, but not a good anomalous pet. Uh, hmm. I just want to play with the Tower Death Roach just because. Didn't I have a Tower Death Roach team? Forget forget that. Forget that person, even though I'm probably gonna run into them. Let's just the, the bad news squares. I never actually played with it. I made it No, I pl I played with this pet. I remember, because I was remember like Oh, it must have it must have been on my other computer. Okay, I don't know. I made a team with this, and it was actually funny because I totally got lucky with the stench and won because they kept missing. So let's let's try it. What was I going for here? I was going for I was going for losing against anomalous. That's what I was going for. Uh, okay, maybe not. That's not looking too appealing. What about this guy? Let's let's do this. Let's let's change directions here. So let's play with him. And it, see, this is this is the problem with these over. But this is always the problem with PvP pet battles. And when you just want to have fun and play with some new pets, and you always have to think like, how's it going to do against Imp? How's it going to do against Anomalous? How's it going to do against Sandstorm? And it just makes it to like, well. You're, you're just throwing the dice, you know, like, well, if I run into somebody's brawler team, I have a chance. If I, if I run into an imp and anomalous and then, then I'm screwed. So actually let's, let, let, let's go with the, let's go with the not gimping ourselves, and let's go back with that, uh, with this team crawler brawler. Let's just see how it works. And this will be my last battle. So we're either oh I never I didn't change the move moves. So actually, what's going to happen here? Stop. It's just not good against anomalous, right? Here I'll 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 play with I'll play with this team. Screw it. We're we're going yellow. <laughs> I keep saying that, but then I'm like, eh, what happens when I face an imp? Um. How about this? We'll go with our trusty Death Adder. And then this was a team I just threw together to try the Frenzied Maw Rat. And I was like, hmm. Foreboding Curse. That could work well with Death and Decay. And Bone Barrage. And then I threw a Death Adder on here because I think at that time I was actually facing a lot of Anomalous. I can't believe how much I'm talking about Anomalous still. It's so sad. I mean... Oh well, here we go. I forgot they got the they got the bone serpent. I'm probably gonna lose this one because they're probably gonna start with the bone serpent or bring it in second. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we're doing pretty good here. 
Let's see. What are you going to have? I, f I can't remember. Did they have darkness? 488. 49. That'll kill me on the next turn. But then if this guy comes back in, or if Anomalous comes in, then I'm going to be taking a lot of damage on the back. I'm just going to stay in with this guy. Uh, the drama. <laughs> okay. It's not horrible. I'm not in bad shape here. If I could get the 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 the, the ma rat against the imp. I'm sorry, the Maw Rat against Anomalous. Um, I can I can slow him down and then heal off of him. So but of course this happens. I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with this. The imp's doing weak damage against that guy. I'm going to be able to do strong and heal. But then I got to worry about getting gated out, too. Missed the guy in the back. That's good. Okay. Sort of in business here. Uh, I'm going to go for the sure thing. Okay. Well, let's see how this Maw Rat does against the Amp. That's, that's what we're looking at here. And you got, you got both of those down. He's certainly going to get rid of me right here. So... Put our foreboding curse up. Ooh, that's nice. We'll get our heel going here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look what's happening. And we'll heal again. <laughs> well, 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 there you go. Wow. Friends, the, welcome to the frenzied, frenzied Ma Rat meta. No, whatever I win with, of course. You know, that's well, cool. Maybe it's not so bad after all. I went four and one, and I only sold my soul one time. I mean, when I say sold my soul, what did I play with? I played with the <laughs> the, the 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 vengeful porky pet. The um, what did I play with? What was that? What was that the, the the third team I played with? Whatever. I did play with one really high power. Oh, I used the trap. I used the um. Jeez, I mean in memory with these pet names uh blazehound vengeful porky pet and bronze well playing ended up winning and but then i won my other battles too i don't consider myself selling out with this one even though i did use the death adder hatchling not super op anymore it's definitely a good pet but not like 
it used to be OP. Why did it used to be OP? I think this had a three round cooldown and just that one little tweak. That was a great example of a of a pro blizzard nerf. I think this used to be a three round cooldown. I don't want to say two. That would have been too much. So I mean it, anyway they changed all they did was change the cooldown of 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 puncture wound and it went from uber death adder to oh that death adder's pretty good but hey well that didn't go bad at all i'm glad that's a good first video back i'm kind of like excited to to <laughs> do some pet battles again because honestly when i saw that last team that i saw i was just like bruh i lost so bad here but cool um well that's it i i don't i don't know how regularly i'm going to be making videos i'm hoping i that i can get one per week at least but no promises you know those dungeons aren't going to tank and heal themselves I'm sorry that was super stupid even for me um I'm just going to babble on now. I think it's a long video already because of uh, that long wait in the middle. So I will just say thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. I think this is the longest period I've ever gone without making a, making a video since I started making videos. And if you're still here watching them, thanks. All right. See you later.